Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to show you all the things June, all the June makes. So, I'm going to start with, well, I'll just show them to you on because I prefer that kind of video. And there's not that much. I made a bag and some cloth pads and a quilt, three dresses. Oh, no, I made a pair of pants. Oh, but they're in the washing machine. Okay, fine. I just want to show this. But, okay, I'll just show you. All right, so this is my first make for the month. And actually, I think it's the first one that I made. Um, so this is a vintage pattern, and it's Simplicity 8196. Okay, and I made view, I made the second view two. It's the dress version. Can you see that? Okay, so, um, and let's see, I didn't make any changes except for I shortened it, but you know, you have to do that with most of the vintage patterns, and this one was from like, um, 1969, so it's a really nice pattern. I made the jumpsuit version too, but I kind of hacked it, I'll show you that in a minute, um, but yeah, so I just made it out of a quilter's cotton, and I haven't put any buttons here because I don't have any that match, so I'm gonna have to get some. But actually, I think it's fine without the buttons. But this is what it looks like from the back. Yeah, so this was the first one. Oh, let me show you. I made a quilt too. Um, I started this a while ago, but it just, I didn't finish it. But, so it's just, um, it's just a little throw quilt. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then I made, let's see, I made a cloth, I made some cloth pads, but this is the only one that I saved to show. I made them out of different, um, like covers, and I just used a sheet of notebook paper to draw out the shape. Um, and then I made a bag pattern, and I've never made a bag like this before, but this is the, I used the Sally Tomato Casey bag, and I just made it taller and wider. Um, and I'll try to remember how much taller and how much wider. And I ran out of fabric when I was making this, out of both fabrics. So I kind of had to like combine the two for the sides and then just add like an extra piece here um, because I didn't have enough of this one and I didn't have enough of this one. And then for the strap, I just went to Hobby Lobby and bought a strap um, because I ran out of this and I was going to make it out of that. But buying the strap was cheaper than buying more of the cork fabric. And let's see. So I I don't remember if the pattern had all of these pockets, but I put a zippered pocket on the front and a, just a regular pocket on the back. And then on the inside, I put two pockets, but I kind of put them a little too low, so they kind of go into the bottom of the bag, but they they're fine. They still work. You can still hold your stuff. And so that was the Casey pattern, just made bigger from Sally Tomato. All right. Um, so then that's one, two, three, four. So on to the fifth thing. And that is, well, let me just put it on. Okay. So this is the next one. And I used the vintage Simplicity pattern for this one too. The only difference I did was, is after I cut the jumpsuit out, from this one, I decided that I wanted to add the like, I don't know, jumpsuit scoopy thing here. I don't know what you call this. But um, I had this pattern, so I just took this pattern and I laid it on top of the other pattern and then I cut my shape for the sides out with this pattern. But everything else is the other pattern. Like I kept the dart in the back and stuff. Um, yeah, although, I should have made it a little bit smaller. I feel like it's too too big, you know? I think that if I had just made it like a little more fitted, it would be better. So I'm gonna, since this is linen, I figured I would wash it a couple times and just wear it like this and then see how much it shrinks on its own because I know it's going to. Um, so I'm not gonna change it right now. Oh, and I added ties. I don't know, yeah. I added the ties like it has in this view. And then the top underneath 
is the, um, I don't know how to show it. Um, so this is the, um, I don't remember the name, but I'll put it in the description box. It's a made for mermaid top. It's just a regular, just like plain like, tank top. And I think I showed this in my last video, but someone, someone texted me on Instagram and asked me to show it like on together. So um, that's all I have to say about this one. Let me just show you the next one. All right, so this is the next one. I don't remember which number this is, but I made this for my niece for her graduation. Well, I made it for Mimi to wear to her graduation. So, um, but this is um, a linen blend fabric. Um, and it just has a square neck and a flutter sleeve. And then this is kind of like an A-line skirt, but I slashed and spread a little to make it a little more um, full. So. But it's not too much though. Um, let's see what else is there. So that's it, really. Um, I lined it instead of using the facing. And it was really easy to make and it has a center back zipper. So, yeah. And yeah, that's it with this one. So on to the next one. Okay, so this is the next one. And I used McCall's 5580 from... 1977 and I love these like Marlowe's corner patterns I think they're so cool um, I didn't have enough fabric to make the wrap detail on the back um, so I was just able to make the dress but I made it for a swimsuit cover-up because I wasn't for sure that I would like it as a dress but I do and um, I, I want to make more actually I want to make one just like the version she's wearing it's like an eyelet um, or I got this vintage sheet. Um, yeah, I think I got a vintage sheet. It was yesterday. I got a vintage sheet yesterday. And actually, I think it might be perfect for this. So maybe I'll do that. But anyways, so it has like this. It's got a tie here. And the tie goes into, let me just see if I can show you. So the tie goes into, okay, so the tie goes into like this little piece here and it's just like, it looks like that and then like, and you just like fold this over and you hem it. So I thought that was kind of cool because I didn't know how it was done. Um, and then you just tie it up like that. Yeah. But it doesn't actually like show the hole that way. It's just like the detail. So you don't have to worry about showing your breastbone or your bra so that's cool and then I only have one make after this and it was a free pattern so I'll just put that on okay so the last um, thing that I made this month was I can't pronounce these words probably the right way so I'm just going to show you the picture of the pattern right here and also this is a French pattern and it's a free pattern um, and it has the French instructions on the side and then it has English instructions on the side. And I used, see, so I just made like, I didn't do the, the color block option. Like it is on the front. I just did like a solid and I used like the lining piece because the lining piece is a full, this is the lining piece right here. Um, so it's like a full tank top. And then, so I made this because I have a vintage pattern that's very similar to this tank top. And it's this one right here. Can you see that? I don't know if that's the right um, slide. But so I thought that this pattern was really, really similar to that, except for this was a tank top. But you can lengthen it into a dress and then don't have to pay the expensive price for the vintage patterns because they go so high. And then also you can't like get it in a lot of different sizes. But this one comes in a lot of different sizes. Um, it's like a size 34 to a 46. I don't know what that is. Like if you was, right? I don't know what that is American sizes, but. And then also it's in centimeters instead of inches. But it was really, really easy to make. And it has very small seam allowance. The seam allowance is a one centimeter seam allowance. So there wasn't a lot of waste of like fabric there. So. 
So it turned out really cute and I used a, this is a linen blend and it has like this texture to it and I think it worked out pretty good. So yeah, I think that's all, yeah, that's all of the things that I made for the month of June. And this is the last thing that I made for the month of June and I hope that you enjoyed um, seeing all of these and then I'll put the description box. I'll put like the patterns and I'll put the fabric and where I bought the fabric, but I should probably say that these fabrics ah, I dropped them. This fabric and this fabric came from our online shop and the rest came from other places. So um, Just to let you know that. Okay, so on to Jamie's mix for the month of June. Uh, she self-drafted a sausage roll and a ham and then she took a bunch of her quilt scraps and made some little coasters to sit around and then she made Simplicity 9702 which she said was a very booby dress and then she self-drafted some nice cotton pajama pants. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!